Good day, wonderful family. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you for always stopping by. In today's video, I want to share with us some spiritual benefits of onion that most of you don't know about. But in case you're tuning in for the first time, you're highly welcome to this wonderful channel. Kindly hit the red subscribe button to make yourself a full member of this family. Like my videos, share my videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. May God Almighty continue to bless you in all you do. And I say amen to that prayer. Now the first benefit or spiritual uses of onion, for those that be asking what is onion, see my onion. Yes. The first one, you can use this as a crowd puller in your shop. You can use this onion as a crowd puller in your shop. What you are going to do, you are going to divide this onion into two, as I'm doing now. Okay, this is the onion. So after dividing it this way, you are not going to cut it completely. You are going to get your bay leaf. We know what bay leaf is. Use a green biro or a green marker to write crowd puller or uh, call customer, you know, depending on what you want to write. Since it's for business, write it here. I want to attract customers. I want to attract more sales in your shop. Just write it. Fold the belly this way and put it in between the onions, the place you divided. Okay? Yes, put it the way you, the place you divided inside it. Then you're going to get your honey, your original honey. Add some drop inside the onion you divided into two. Then you keep you seal it in a, a white nylon, any kind of nylon. I don't have any here. Any white nylon, seal it. Or if you don't want to seal it with a, a white nylon, go and uh, bury it in your shop. If there is, uh, you can dig out the ground. If you cannot, just tie it in the white nylon. Let it decay. There was it decay. You throw it away. By the grace of God, that will be the end of not selling in your shop. You are going to see how customers will start trooping in your shop. And what you are going to say, your prayers will be, you want this shop to be as sweet as honey. Onion is very good for attraction. Belly is very good at, for attraction. That God should pull your customers from east, west, north, and south. Keep it when you decay after seven days, you throw it away. That is for crab puller. Then another thing you can use onion to do, you can use it as separation spell. I keep hearing people, my husband left me for another woman. My boyfriend left me for another woman. These are things that, if you're under this channel, you shouldn't cry about. Yes. Unless the girl is using a spell. But if it's just normal cheating and all that, you can use onion to destroy them. Okay? And how, I will equally tell you how you will know if the spell actually worked. Even if the person is using a spell, you can equally, it's depending on your faith. I will teach us the sign we will get to know that the spell actually worked. Get the onion, cut it the way I did. Get any kind of pepper. You can see my black pepper, the pounded one, the normal one we use in cooking. Okay? Get a very pepperish pepper. Put it in between the onion. In between the onion. Get seven seeds of alligator pepper. Put in between the onion. The old alligator pepper, I'm going to say that you're sending the alligator pepper an error on an errand to, you know, disconnect your husband from any side chick. Because you might not know the side chick's name for the uh, the kind of people, the people that always contact me, they may not know the side chick, but they know that their husband is going out with a woman. So if you know the side chick's name, mention the side chick's name seven times. Say that, so, so, person, let me say, Choma, 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 Choma. As you're going out with my husband, you mention your husband's name. That as from today, two of you will be cat and dogs. You will no longer see each other and find each other, you know, uh, helpful or attractive. The only time you see each other, you pull one squirrel until you separate. That I'm commanding you put to today, from today, that two of you, whenever you see yourself, you just be angry unnecessarily until you leave each other alone. You say that then put the alligator pepper here, put the black pepper here, take the onion, take a light a white nylon. Put a, get the white nylon, seal it, then put the pepper inside the white nylon. Well, let me get the nylon so you understand. 
So this is my white line lawyer. I'm going to turn it upside down like this. Upside down means that the relationship has turned upside down. Okay. So I'm going to put it upside down like this. As you can see, turn the onion upside down. Then you tie it and keep it in a place where nobody will touch it for seven days. If the onion decays within that seven days, you know that their relationship has scattered. But if the onion, you know, germinates, you know that you cannot separate them. That is a simple way to know because some people, I know some people will hate this thing I'm saying now. Some people do not marry who they are supposed to marry, you know. So when they see a kind of side chick that they like or they are supposed to be their life partner, you will see them, there is nothing on earth you can do to separate them. Unless God wants to separate them. Okay? So that is why it's good to pray very well before going into any marriage. Or if you know the things that your husband likes doing, do it so that you will not draw his attention outside. Some of them, when they go outside, it's very, very difficult to bring them back to you. Okay? So this is a very simple test you can use to know if they will separate or they will not separate. Once it decays, they will separate immediately. Once it germinates, the relationship can, it takes the grace of God for it to be separated. Okay? That is a uh, tool. Another thing you can use onion to do, if you're on, always, uh, if you're having a spiritual sickness, you have pains, moving objects, se severe pains that you've gone to hospital, they cannot detect where the pain is coming from. Just cut the onion. Let me still use this one I'm using. Cut the onion into two. This time around, you are going to tear it into two. Every night, uh, take one, put under your leg, put it this way. Let me say this is your foot. You put it this way. We are a socks. Okay? You place this other one on the other leg, just like this. Then you wear a socks. Before you put it, pray that God should absorb every pace, every sickness that is in your body that is not of God. That God should absorb it through this onion. By the grace of God, you will see God doing it for you. Another thing you can use onion to do, do this until you get your result. For those that ask me how long can they do it? You may do it for a day or twice or three times, you will get your result instantly. Okay? Another thing you can use an onion to remove negative energy from your home. Divide the onion like this. Please do not peel the back. Divide the onion like this. Take salt and sprinkle on the surface. Place it on the four corners of your house every night. Remove it in the morning. It's going to absorb any form of negative energies in your house. For the, in the home there is no peace, you can use this onion to return peace back to your house. Keep it there. All the negative energies causing quarrels in your family, in your home, this onion is going to absorb it. This is number four. Number five, you can use this onion if your children are not doing well in school as a result of being under a spell or witchcraft attack because sometimes the witches will come to your children when they, they know they cannot get you. They will start attacking your children. They will start attacking their studies, their health and everything. If the, the witches are attacking their health, every night, grate this onion. Just take a little onion, grate it with your grater, Add this with olive oil and apply it on that child's body as the child is sleeping. Those witches and women that come to oppress that child in the night will run away. That is one. Then number two, for those children that are not doing well in school, as a result of evil attacks, what you are going to do, if every night or any time they are in the house, you can do it in the morning, in the night, okay? Get the, uh, the onion peels the back like this. Anytime you cook, just keep the onion peel. Don't throw it away. Get a burner or anything you can use to burn something. Put your charcoal. Take the onion and put inside that charcoal. Take it, uh, keep it where that child will inhale it. Uh, please, if your child is asthmatic, let that child not inhale it. Okay? Let the child inhale it for some time. By the grace of God, those things that is working against him, against his memory, against his health, those things will be a sin of the past. As the child is inhaling that smoke, Keep it where the child will not directly, so it will not affect, not cut cough for the child. It's where the child can, you know, the environment the child is staying. Keep that charcoal. Let the air circulate around his room or where he's staying or where she is staying. By the grace of God, those attacks he's having in his studies will be a thing of the past. Do it regularly. 
and come back for your testimony. I've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. And if you want the part two of this video, please comment under the comment section. I will tell you what the spiritual uses of onion, how you can use it to achieve anything you want for back to sender, to, uh, uh, to recover your lost glory. Just try this recipe. As I said, I'll come back for your testimony. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you once again for watching. Lovely day to every one of us. Bye-bye.